Jester instead, who is our sixth character, and who provides a very interesting different dynamic to the other characters. Because he works with a deck of nine cards. So as opposed to your equipment, as opposed to using equipment like everybody else, the Jester works off of an actual random deck like a roguelike. And the thing about him is that you can see here, he doesn't care too much for dice faces on some of his cards. And, uh, okay, so he sets up three dice, not standard. He only has three pieces of equipment on his hands at any time, but he can crucially see how much is left in his deck, plus what's coming up next in his deck. The key with him is that you want to make matching pairs, or manipulate your way to matching pairs, because anytime you have two of the same cards, equipment cards on hand, or two or three, you can discard them all for your next in line. So I discarded all those boots. I can discard. I can click the discard button again to get to my box and keep manipulating my deck to get to the cards that I want. To. And they will just keep moving down the line, and you can see, you know, you will just keep going through it each turn. You'll always just a random refill of your entire deck each turn, and it's all about getting through that. It's that and how. Oh, it's his face. How your women face uh, actually factors into your playstyle. Very, very big. But I'll cover that in a second, because the main thing is you get to add or ignore cards that to your deck instead of having to put it in or out of your spellbook or your equipment pieces for Jester. So Judgment Ball, deal up to three damage and get a new dice out of it. I will add it to my deck. So now it's a nine card deck. But the Jester's woman trait is called Snap. Matching cards can be used for free this turn. So instead of me just discarding these boots, for instance, it would instead roll them, automatically put sixes into them, and roll them at their highest value. Exactly so. So go ahead and discard three, though. Then, I'll play a bop, discard the boots. Play my juggling ball, and since I didn't get a three or higher, I'll just heal the full. So you can already see, I'm playing my turns pretty fast, but exactly how you want to manipulate the Jester's deck. You want to constantly find your higher value cards, and if not, manip your uh, manipulate your way to your higher value cards. You're just smartly looking at what three pieces of equipment you have now, what three are coming up next, and what you can do for that. Effort. So, you will be also getting card packs as you level up. These card packs cannot be passed up, and you have to choose between one or the other, as you can see here. So I can either take High Voltage, which is two buzzers at shot, or deals up to four damage and returns the dice if the enemy has been shot. Interesting. Or to go for a deflex for blocks, and then a shield back. Takes doubles. I'd probably get more out of the High Voltage, Considering doubles is gonna be super hard to come by, considering how I can't do any snapping with one shield bass by itself. But I, I'd say it requires me to have the deflex already, but I could get a little bit more out of voltage in general. So let's do that. Do that, fight the marshmallow, and see what the shop has to offer to us. I should also change my hair color, I just realized, because since I'm playing Jester, I'm not playing Witch anymore. So, let us change to a nicer darker oh it's like orangey reddish so let's let's hang with that then for our lovely jester now maybe tune it a little bit more creepy uh, not too dark yeah all right that's gonna be decent enough all right we'll run with that i have pretty higher end dice so Play the bop first, that way it's three boops that I can just- Well, actually, I can demonstrate snap here, actually, for instance. So if I snap, this card is replaced with snap, which will auto-fill everything with sixes, as you can see right there, for instance. I thought this was a very bad snap turn, because I'm not going to get any good value out of it. Okay, sweets can do convert to shield, so shield bats actually had a lot more mirror. So maybe I could have taken Shield Bash, but it's whatever, it's no big deal. It does hurt, but I'm almost up to snap, and actually, 
it does get me up to snap. So let's think about it here. Judgment Ball for a new dice. I legitimately cannot get anything out of things here besides shocking and then just start doing two damage to you. Which is no matches, so that's an unfortunate turn. That's where the Jester can die, is to where you don't get any matches on your cards. Just naturally through how even how well you play, and it just starts falling apart. That's just, you know, that's just how the game goes sometimes. Okay, we'll just go ahead and play my snap though to get some health back. Boops here. Play a pop, so then I can just get to the boop. And, well, also, you'll just, you're realizing how ridiculous it is for me to say all of these words and phrases and whatever. Do a damage and get a new dice. I'll add that, because that's just a free reroll and something I want. I can also start destroying cards if I don't want crap at all. I think I would like to destroy stuff. What would I not want? Let's get rid of a boop. It's in my debt, so it's a lot, uh, a little bit easier. And I'll probably spend my other, my other, uh, just face coins that I earned to destroy other, uh, my other pieces of equipment. Oh, I want to get it down from 3 to 2 on most of my non-essential things. This is my immediate thought process. So here, let's do something like this. Foot shot. Heal 3. I bolted to get my four refunded, and then I deal another three. Pitch Pete, good turn. Shot is so nice that he's stereo head who only has two dice. Uh, it's probably just a sweet turn. No reason to just. Actually, I'm gonna heal off of this fight anyway, so just push, push my damage agenda, even if it's just by a very, very tiny bit. Is. Uh, just put the shotgun buzzer because I didn't high voltage up next. Nice. I was really hoping I could low roll right there. I'm glad I did. Because a figure below guarantees I can have a high voltage. Thank you. I get a dupe in my deck. And I can potentially upgrade something. So if I upgrade high voltage, which becomes 5 or higher. Don't know about that, actually. Because it's that, I could make dupe better. But I want to make cauldron better. It gets two uses. Or to just have dupe guaranteed to just dupe anything out of mine. And honestly, I think I should do that. Because having action economy as the jester is the most important thing, I feel. Destroy a pop. I'm down to two on both of those. <laughs> I also could have that uh, at the, the boot. I could have looked at destroying all the pops, all things considered, if I wanted to. Because then, yeah, it's a dead card for only having one boot, but if I get to it enough, then it could still be better. I should have done Judgment Ball before my thing first. Before my buzzer first. But I can actually get to duplicate. Funny enough, but I can't do anything because I need three and four or lower, and I can't do anything with my sits. Oh, that's actually, that's actually hilariously infuriating. Alrighty, think about it here. Judge and Mole, get a new dice, that's a five. I will do... Two for sits. And then here's the play here. Boop. Discard. Shot for high voltage. Cauldron. Hit. Toss so I can get the bop. And you are one damage off lethal. He got doubles, but he's only gonna be able to deal one and he's only gonna be able to deal six damage uh, three damage at most. Uh, six damage at most, three damage if he uses the doubles. We just sit pretty Good stuff. Apple gets us the phone, and we debate about punchline. Five damage for an even. Play every card in a single turn to use. This is a finale card. 
so it's always going to be at the bottom of my deck. So if I can get to it, well, I can spend it. It's five damage. And I am consistently getting to the bottom enough, so let's, let's try it. It's not, it's not harming me at all, anyway, since it's at the bottom of my deck. Alright, pirate. Let's see what you got. I need to fan through most of the stuff here. And there's no real way for me to get the duplicates that I need. Unfortunately. So, I just gotta deal with it to you, like so. Yeah, there, there's nothing I'm getting out of that. So, alright, 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 alright. Because if I snap, I'd only be getting value out of the two cards. So, five damage, I'll take it on the chin. If I get a new dice with Juggling Ball, that gets rid of my ability to use cover. So, just roll this. I get super lucky right there. If what's shot, I want to save my three for high voltage in that case, so pop. And I think I do snap. I want to do a voltage, get my dice back. And like, I just want to push the damage again. Because I thought if I one turn the pirate, he can't potentially kill me. If, or he can't possibly do too much damage, especially since I went this way over. Nuts could be decent. I have to still spend the dice to use it if I low roll, but I do have a higher end dice problem. And I just didn't want to take too much damage with how all the health ends were cut off. So this should be decent. So what's in your body here? In foot shot, do something. Get the boops out of the way. Shot him again? For high voltage to pop. Get me a new dice, that's a five. And then, unironically, Bob him twice. I could have actually, if I did nudge, Dragon Ball was three or over, so nah, couldn't do much off there. Alright, it's fine. You do always only commit a consistency with removing cards from your deck. Uh, you only, you have to find the two. Or you don't have to find the death matching pair like I did to the boots and bops. It is mildly hurting me, but it's... I think if I nudge into a boot, I want to discard the sweets and get the cauldron. Discard the use the high voltage. Duplicate over. Punchline is even only better. Oh man, having two threes there really hurts my soul. I would have loved to get something going, but. Mm. It just wasn't in the cards. Quite early. Yes, I'm still making these puns. The deal with it here, alright? So I'm at 17 health. I'm just gonna have to duplicate a big, big card. It's unfortunate that I am sitting at all evens though. I could snap on him and flip to my shot and then really start popping off. I'm only gonna deal with the one damage though with my uh, with my high voltage. So let's just go ahead and do that because what I want to do here is get a new dice. That's a three. You want to see it? Twice. Get the sweets going. I can nudge you down just for the sake of it into a punch line. Hey, hey! That's a real good turn, and I even got a steam achievement for using a finale card. Let's go. So, choose a reward. Inspiration, the top of the next card. A warrior smash to do zero damage or plus one, or plus one for a five. So these are actual cards that go in your inventory and will copy the exact cards that they talk about or take on those properties. Destroy a card or blood suck? I do like the idea of blood suck, but I don't have a way, I don't have a duplicate for it. But if I destroy something, well destroy something, and then I won't have a duplicate for like the box anyway, so give me blood stuff for now. Solid card. So, Dupas hits. Holdren me. Get the boots out of here. I want Jedwin Ball. Get 
Buzzer? I voltage. Buzzer? If I nudge? Bob. And just, uh, shield me for two. You see here, like, it would just copy the Bob or whatever the next card is to the right for the inventor card. So, I feel like if I just kept my box in, <coughs> if I didn't destroy one of the bobs, I could have taken the warrior's inspiration, because it would just be a free press the button and then you deal damage. But, on the other hand, Inventor guarantees you always get a copy of a card no matter what. So, that's what I'm pointing towards. That could be a bop, so that means you can toss those out, for instance, if you wanted. But I'm not going to be able to manipulate anything else out of my deck with just the three dice. So, just chill on this end. At the very least, the uh, freeze from Ice Shard really isn't hurting me too much with the Sorceress. Considering how Jester doesn't care too much about his die faces. Rather, he doesn't care as much as other characters do about their die faces. But still is annoying, don't get me wrong. Not to be down. Kill with sweets and then juggle the ball to see what I get out of it. This is annoying. The best I can do is just high voltage and everything. Now, this is my action economy slowing down very badly. Not having a good time with it. Thank goodness she couldn't do any ice shards with her uh, with her quick lack of odds. Let's go ahead, snap. Get those out here. Boop, you can see sometimes you also just get really lucky. You just to get to keep going on. Copy the sweets. What's the three health? What I will do is cauldron for the dice. Pop. Dragon balls I kinda need to. You're already shot, so I can high ball with you. And that is enough. Good snap of a turn. Uh, I only have one money, so I can't actually do anything or even destroy a card. So I go up to get rid of the boops. Can upgrade something though. So what would I want to upgrade? Can't upgrade the inventor's inspiration. Punchline becomes usable no matter what, but it's a finale and I'm struggling to get to it. I think Bloodsuck being able to use anything would be really good for me. So if I can upgrade that, then that's just a free heal up to six damage. As opposed to just my theoretical of dealing two or three. And I think it's going to be really good for us here. Put the shot. Then we'll move this down. Inventor copying a cauldron is actually really huge. The two cauldrons allows me to just keep moving the line up here. And then I can just start moving the Look at the movement on my deck here, dude. That is already the die wolf at 25 health over one turn. Is anybody gonna complain about how much momentum I got in one turn alone? No. The fact that I shot the die wolf out when he got doubles as well. Ooh, baby girl. Baby, baby, baby girl. Now I will start complaining about this slightly. Not the best turn by a country mile. So, ah, uh, that's a slower turn. Only dealt 8 damage, but it's okay. Kratis used his 2 for the cross. So, no curse, and that's all that I care about. Because I hate curse as a status effect and everything it stands for. I will blood set for 5. Oop. I just gotta be a shot, right? Shot. Nudge. If I bop, I get 2 cauldron hits. Let's do this. The sweet snap means I get two potions for free, which means I generate two dice for free. Is the key note right there? I want to use the for one, the three, and we come out of that fight. All things considered, only missing two HP. Not bad at all. All right, so Bowie time. Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. 
I just gotta hit nudge. Nudge to sweets. I can click inventor here to get rid of all the loops. That way I can do something like this. Doop. Get a huge hit going. Do need the box? I can just pop and then heal the sweets. Yeah, it's just like they the rock at me, but I'm still getting at five health just about. It's not the worst ever. Uh Bop? I can't high voltage like I want to here. That's been my out. I think I will do so because if I can get to the juggling ball. I will not get to the juggling ball, but I will still get you lower. I should get my snap this coming turn if he rolls decently. Well, oh, actually, the fist of guarantee is always good this game, so I will get my snap. I will not get my snap. I should have seen and predicted how much HP on end on. Oh, Duke sits. Blood suck that out of him. Let's keep things moving. So I wanted. To, I, I'm trying to save the inventor here for a better card, but then I realized, uh, Bowie's actually low enough, I can just kind of point a, point a die at him and just say, whatever, die. So I can copy a card. I think without a doubt, Bloodsuck is just allowing me to just be really stupid. I don't upgrade duplicate otherwise. And do I want two high voltages? Yeah! They refund my dice, and the fact is I have enough shot potential here. It's just the one spark that I don't like, is the ring that I put the turn doesn't mesh well with any part of my deck at all. So here, we do something like this. Doop. Cross the boots. I want high voltage. Into high voltage. Into juggling ball. Into cauldron. I don't necessarily need the sweets, I want to get to the blood suck. Nudge you down. The spark does burn a dice, so I might as well, honestly, in this case here. Get these out of here. I could get two punch lines, funny enough, if I wanted to, but it's not the cards. Alright, just spend four health, we want to use that four. Oh, your funeral. Alright, alright, alright. This should be a snappable turn. I absolutely destroyed this boy. And I think I pretty much will, because I mean I got an inventor with a duplicate blood stuff, so snap these. Both health would be healed right there. Funny enough. Burn. Don't really care. Otherwise, I have to nudge to get through, but I'm not gonna be able to copy anymore. Oh well. I think I got the box going. It's actually hilariously good. Oh, you can't use the 4, but I will still end this fight mostly at full health. Oh, I think you can use the 4. Mostly at full health and half snap meter, not bad. If I can just get to a blood stun, it'd be great, but I didn't use the 1, I should just sneak for actually a enough. Never, never punish. Yoink! Clock machine or destroyer card. Give me Thief, because as much as random equipment would be funny, the boss equipment is pretty stupid too sometimes. I do like manipulation of the dice that did me a bump. And another way to duplicate would be nice. I think if I can duplicate my duplicate, that's where we really pop off, don't you agree? So, bump to nudge. Don't really care too much otherwise. I think I do something like this, play high voltage, get all the bots out of the way. I that's fortunate. But I get to my duplicate, which is big. Holder to C. Buzzers are useless. I'll have to burn a dice, I suppose. And the drain three. I didn't get anything actually activated there during that fight at all, which hurts my soul. Let's take my soul a bit. I mean, one freeze ain't going to end me. The 
fact that, you know, two crystals already out is annoying, and with the white crystal, I need to start putting the damage agenda harder. Too. The least I can do is compete with you directly on the Gasto. Don't need the events. I'm only gonna get the random crystal I can use first. Oh well. If I get a snap, which I guarantee will, basically, I'm just going to snap on you and just say I'm not dealing with this bull crap. Curse the enemy, at least it's an odd. Yeah, Crystalline is online. I don't want to deal with this. Let me get some copies, please. Mm. Pop. Copy the high voltage. Get me going. Play those out. Just be to see what I get. Deep, just to see. We can end up getting really few something. I'm gonna put some shot. Wasn't necessarily the best snap, but still 25 to 8 health and preserving and as much of my health as I could as I can with all the uh status effect damage I could. That's decent. That is pretty decent. It's not decent is my entire role right now. Are you seeing this bowl? Alright. I mean, I just gotta play this out. I literally can't do anything but just Slightly heal here. Uh, I think we did anything curse, but this is not the best at the moment. I just need to deal with this damage. Key. I keep low rolling. It's hurting my soul. No, I should have just snapped right there. What am I doing? Actually throw this entry? That would have killed you, and actually I should have gotten 12 health from that. So did I actually throw that? Just because I'm mad. Yeah, it kinda seems like it a little bit here. But it's okay. I get to save my snap. We're okay. It's not dead yet. Dupe my dupe. And I have to fight the cowboy without a doubt, because I need to get to these two health goals. I can only take two Sith shooters just about, which is the worst thing ever. Kill me two. Get this copy. And let's start going. I will not be going. I should have played that better. That's three shots. Idiot, I'm an idiot. This hurts, this hurts, this hurts. <laughs> I got two chances against the Sith Shooter and I will not be in another snap. I do have a blood stuff coming up though, that is very huge. Blood stuff advise me another turn. Yeah, advi advise me basically another turn of time. It's two sixes. So it almost gets me to you. Another time. Okay, do have a snap. Let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. I have to use cauldron. Bumping gets me another die for action economy. Maybe get sit shooter. I think I spend the five. See what the thief gear gets me. Two sitzes. I mean, I just gotta spend it, right? Just to make way so I can snap the high voltage. Dupe. Dupe for sits. I am in okay territory as long as it doesn't roll with three sitzes. Get to those two buzzers, and I snap on that, and Venture guarantees another snap afterwards. Spend my sits. It's two nudges. Ew. Alright, whatever. I can get two sweets. I just spend the nudge. Two sweets. Snap on that. Sweet for three. I would have loved to have the blood suck instead, but 
Honestly, coming away from this fight with 19 health after my very dire state, I will just be happy that I'm still alive, all things considered, Chief. Actually, I'll be very much so happier. Oh, wait, I don't know if you feel. I just got a good one. I just got a good one health. Okay, you know what? It's fine otherwise. It's fine. Guys, 30 sits now after those apples, and the last apple is useless. I gotta get a scratch and fight. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not the worst thing ever. Alright. Dupe. That's dupe. It's huge for us. Just look at all of this real estate and dice economy that I have now. Then. This. The shot which is very big. Turn my dice. Blood suck for everything here. Let's see what I get out of the The buffs and nuts just keep fighting with each other here, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could have cursed you. I'd pay so much money to have some Oh, whatever. If I didn't if I didn't if I bumped and nudged in the correct order, if I checked what gear I could have gotten, I should have. No, I should have been careful if I for them in that case, but it's okay. It's okay. He only just gets too overwhelmed, which is just fine. So I can't see shit here. I can't get any high voltage drops, can I? Well, I'm not gonna get shit at all now, am I? Great. I love you, Crashing Fight. I love not knowing how to play the game. hasn't necessarily been killing, uh, doing damage to me. Just blinding and cursing me. To get my shield up at least. Love of you, stop though. This is going up to be so annoying. I hate this fight if you couldn't tell already. Oh, these are ones? You're telling me? Oh, blood suck at the very least. Hit, Dragon Ball getting to something more. 3 OS? Is this a 3 OS? No, it's not. I'll just hit you for 2 then. And at the very least, I'm still mostly at full health. You can overwhelm twice, it's whatever. Unless you curse me and with God, you can still overwhelm twice. I hate you. No, you're just gonna blind me instead of overwhelming twice. I just hate you in general. Just from the basic principle of things. I don't want to. I don't want to. Alright. Started. Yeah, dupe sits. Dupe sits. And quit. Everything you. You need fun. Let's yoink something out of you. I need a two for that. I will not be getting it. But I can hope and see if I get a two. And while well, I didn't get a two. Uh oh, what does the sits again just because it's six damage in general. Not gonna get any boop. But 20 damage in one turn by itself is still ridiculous and nice. Uh, 12 damage on that end is not but... <laughs> me? Stop. I voted. I can discard. I can discard. Nudge me down to the juggling ball. Give me two bumps I get out of inventor. So, I want to go enough. I will take that. Two damage. Blood suck. Thief won't be getting anything useful for me because I didn't do for doing a sword. Good turn, good turn. Okay. 
It's not as annoying as a Kraken, I'll give you this much at least. I have made a severe lapse in my judgment. But I'm leveling up after this fight anyway, so it's whatever. Curse about yourself, dastard. You are a dastard. I just cursed you back at the very least, you absolute cretin. Yeah, you want to curse me? You curse me, but he don't know the answer to me. Again. Can I just try to toss a die at you? I will you dead anyway. What a stupid fight. This is why curse is stupid. Alright, another dupe. You know what? We'll take it. Beatrice. So, stop, 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 stop. I have a snap prepared for her, though, so I might be able to blow this fight out of the water immediately. It's two blood suts, and I think I will go ahead and potentially do that. In fact, I have to spend for a buzzer, so yeah. Snap. This gets me armor. And for the shock, blood suts do six each. That's 12. High voltage gets me going. Give me a five. High voltage again. This is annoying as we do way too much here. Also, I misplayed my dice. I should have uh, spent the other five instead of the one. I had all the high voltages too spaced out, so at least I got the shields, but it's actually not as much as I was a Because. <laughs> Having everything shot is really bad for a three dice action economy, all things considered here. Oh, Bart. Buzzer. Ah, screw me. That's actually really bad. It's gonna be a slow, a slower fight, I feel. Because he can just negate all my attacks, take the flight, and then the shot, 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 shot. I'm just gonna make sure that I am constantly in problem territory here. Nudge so I can get to the juggling ball. Dupe. Sweet. At least I can discard things that are shot. Pump. Holdren. I have so many seats, dude, it's actually hilarious. Oh, I can stay relatively healthy at the very least. Thanks to all these blood sucks. Then back to full health again, all things considered. I can see to maybe shot you back. I will do so. So let's see how you like it yourself, Beatrice. Yeah! Yeah! You wanna spend your dice on those pieces of equipment? Oh, damn, but. I dealt a pretty good turn of damage, and all these blood sets are making it impossible for you to deal with me back. Snap you back, because I can. Oh, God's a next attack. Why not? Why not? Go right ahead, Percy. Sweet. Get those going. I mean, I just have the blood sets, so you have no choice. Not the best snap turn, I will admit, but I'm back to full health and I'm dodging unattacked, which means I can dodge a shot. So, one shot dodge, I don't have to deal with one more this turn. And I'm just going to drain Beatrice's absolute life out of her. Good, so I'm at full health, she's at 8. Bloodsuck has been the MVP the entire time. Buzzer. Boop. Okay. Holdren. Snap. Boop. And you're gone. Another thing that I also love about Jester is just hilariously the noises that you make when you're doing this. 
I'm saying boop, I'm saying bop, I'm saying buzzer. <laughs> it's, it's stupid, it's funny. Everything like that is just <laughs> stupid. But alright, that could be Jester 1. 